We just lucked out with an absolutely gorgeous Labor Day out there. Temperatures coming, climbing to 75 degrees for today's high at Duluth International. Again, a hair above average, average high down to 71 degrees now. We'll see that fall back into the 60s as we head through the rest of this week. So signs of fall in that seven day forecast. But before we got there, we had just an absolutely gorgeous day. And we're still looking at an absolutely gorgeous evening out there. Temperatures currently at 74 degrees with those partly cloudy skies overhead and that south southerly wind in place between 10 and 15 miles per hour and just as you can see the blue skies overhead but unfortunately there are changes coming our way satellite radar shows that the changes are just beginning to enter the picture right now take a look off to our north and west you begin to see some clouds as well as some rain showers beginning to enter the picture and as we head through the rest of the night tonight we're going to see clouds begin to fill in say over the next hour or two and then we're going to begin to see some rain showers especially begin to fire up towards the 10 o'clock 11 o'clock hour and through the rest of the night tonight and some of those storms could be strong to severe in nature. So we'll time that all out for you right now. So as you can see, right now we're just talking about the clouds that are on the increase. And we'll see those increase throughout the rest of the evening for tonight. Tonight, by 7 o'clock, I think we're probably beginning to see some rain showers begin to fly towards International Falls. And those will work their way east as we head through the rest of the night. By about midnight, I think that's when we begin to see it here in the Twin Ports. And you're seeing some of the indications of those bright oranges, yellows, reds. That's indications that we could be looking at thunderstorms there. Maybe possibly a severe thunderstorm embedded in one of those two or one or two of those cells. But I think most of us are just looking at general thunderstorms. They're quickly out of here though. By tomorrow morning, I think most of us are looking at partly cloudy skies and maybe a few wraparound rain showers into the afternoon hours. Once again, these rain showers in the afternoon hours will not be as widespread as what we see tonight, but just kind of sporadically dotting the radar here and there. I think a good majority of the day is spent dry tomorrow. And we'll see probably another round of those wraparound rain showers as we head towards Wednesday evening as well. Sort of severe threat is there, especially for the, basically the northern portions of our area. That's where we find the marginal risk, so a level one out of five. So basically Brainerd points south towards the Twin Cities. You see that lighter shade of green down there. That's just indications of general thunderstorms. I think most of us probably aren't looking at severe weather, but if a severe storm does fire up, biggest threat probably being 60 mile per hour winds as well as uh, one inch diameter hail. But most of us probably just looking at good downpours, probably good soaking rain out of the system. As far as how much rain we're expecting, looks like most of the rain, just like where we see the biggest thunderstorm threat, is basically from the Twin Ports points north, where we're talking about maybe a half an inch, maybe up to an inch in some places, which is definitely good news for all the fires that are still burning. But first, your forecast for tonight. Temperatures are not nearly as cold as they were last night, falling back into the mid and upper 50s. Highs for tomorrow, climbing into the lower 70s with that rain shower threat, especially in the afternoon. And here's how that seven-day forecast shapes up. Once we get through tomorrow's rain, we dry things out through the end of the week. Another rain shower for today on Friday, but take a look at those temperatures in the low to mid 70s. So not a bad looking seven day forecast there. Not at all. And I mean, this is a beautiful Labor Day. Usually yeah. there's some rain and we, we do need really it. We really lucked out. So we'll <laughs> welcome the rain tomorrow. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Thank you, Peter.